Taking time to smell the roses is sometimes easier said than done. And more often than not, we all start to sweat the big stuff. Though having the time to focus on the big stuff is nice, you could be missing out on major little moments. We're being joined by licensed counselor and owner of Chamness Counseling, Jeannie Chamness. She's joining us to offer guidance to help us all enjoy more of the little things in life. Welcome, Jeannie. Hello, thank you. Thank you for having me for this. Yes, excited yeah. to have you in. Yeah. What do you mean when you say enjoy the little things in life? It's really just stepping back and recognizing that there's always something that you can be okay about or grateful for going on in your world at this moment. I mean, sometimes it's your health, sometimes it can be a great breakfast or my first cup of coffee, that first sip. I love that first sip. I think so a lot things, of people love like their that, coffee. You know? So finding that moment that just really kind of gives you that, that feeling of joy and all the tiny little places and just recognize that they exist. They're not just a part of your day, they exist. It's not just breathing, it's something happens that adds to your life. Do you think being in the present moment has anything to do with this because you might really like the taste of your coffee but if you're doing a million other things while you're drinking it do you recognize that you love the taste exactly how many times have you picked up your cup and there's it's already gone and you didn't realize you had the whole thing using coffee still as an example but um and that's we're so often focused on everything else going on that we're not in the here and now and that's where a lot of people um start dealing with some anxiety and depression because there are so other, many other places in their head that they're not in their body in this moment. Here's what's going on. So sometimes um, gratitude really just comes down to sitting down and being aware of what's around you. So speaking of gratitude, what are some ways that we can practice gratitude in our daily lives? Oh, there's a lot of ways we can practice. Um, so there's rituals we can create that we've already created that we can expand upon. So things like um, every year, Thanksgiving, we all have this great big gratitude holiday and a lot of families will go around and say one thing they're grateful for before the meal starts. Um, a lot of families, you know, a prayer before a meal where you're saying you're grateful for the food. So it's just building on some of the rituals that already exist. So an evening prayer, some people who pray saying thank you is part of that. Taking a time to just sit down and think about here's what I am happy about today. Gratitude journals are a great place for that. Um, it gives you a chance to really make a concrete example and, and really see the things in your life. Um, then there's all kinds of studies that have shown all the good things that it creates for your health, both mental health and physical health. With those journals too, is there a better time of day to do this? Do you like to start your day with it, end your day with it? I think ending your day because um, as I've as I've been reading, the more they've talked about is if your last thought of the day is something of gratitude, something happy, you're going to be releasing the happy hormones, the serotonin, the dopamine, that's going, and it helps you sleep. So with journaling, that's a great visual way. I know you mentioned you can say thank you, you can do prayer before a meal, but more on the visual aspect of things, what are other things that you can do or create so that you visually have it there? Okay, well, I know that a lot of people are, are um, familiar with the concept of a vision board. So you have all the pictures of the things that you want and you're looking forward in your life, which is a terrific way to create goals and set plans. But the other side of that, a gratitude board or gratitude wall, is to have a place where you can look and go, these are all the things I have in my life that I feel good about and I'm happy about and I'm excited. You know, my kids, my dog, my house, my the chair that I sit in for my for work. I mean, all these little things that you know, I get very happy about every day. Things like a roof over your head that you probably take for granted. Exactly, exactly. So when it comes to making and creating these different things, would you say that we do practice gratitude every day but don't even realize we're doing it? I think we do. I, um, I, and I think that's a big part of it is the mindfulness of recognizing all the opportunities we have to zero in and letting that be an important part of our day. So um, when you're with a friend, you know, that hug hello and that hug goodbye, that's an expression of gratitude because you're grateful for that friend. So just recognizing that that's what that moment is. If we get into this habit of creating, you know, the time where we actually appreciate things, the little things in life, how can we celebrate the little things in other people's lives too? Well, that's great. Well, that's where, I mean, and I love that. I, I love that point because it's so important to have that shared connection about all these things. Writing notes, I mean, we're in a day of sending, I mean, I know a lot of us, our friends, we communicate via memes and texts and not really a whole lot of conversation. Right. Taking a note to say, hey, congratulations, I'm so excited for you, um, which could be a text or an email, but boy, cards are nice. Right, exactly. <laughs> so. And I feel like we can keep up with people so much on social media that we don't take the time to individually, 
you know, send a friend that we're close to a random text just saying, hey, I'm thinking about you. But what does that mean to someone? It means everything when somebody recognizes that your life was important enough to them that they took that moment. And I think with the couple years of COVID and all the change, a lot of these habits we've gotten out of, a lot of our social skills have gotten kind of wonky. Mm -hmm. So I think it's extra important now to build those connections. I would definitely agree with that. <laughs> so what are the benefits for this? How can this help change our life in a positive way? Do you have another hour? <laughs> right? <laughs> There's, it's limitless. I mean, the list, of, the list can go on and on and on. And the primary thing is that when we are, um, when we are expressing gratitude and feeling gratitude, it creates dopamine and serotonin. It creates those happy hormones. So like I said, we sleep better. You're less likely to go through burnout at work. You're less depressed, you're less anxious. And some of that is because these thoughts, you, know, you only have X amount of hours in the day. If you're spending 10 minutes on happy thoughts versus 10 minutes on sad thoughts, that helps. Um, the one that I get the most, I thought was really interesting is it has a 7% decrease in inflammation in your body. There are actual medical benefits. I can believe benefits. that. When you're stressed and you know, thinking and having anxiety over something, it hurts you can worse. see it in your body and yeah. feel it. Yeah, so it literally has medical health benefits as well as, the, as well as the mental health benefits. So I can imagine this is probably something, if you're one of those people who's looking for the next thing, isn't satisfied with the bigger things like job, career, relationships, and I would say those are probably bigger things in life, right. but if you're not satisfied with the big things and you're worried about that, it's probably hard to become, you know, or get into that habit of the little things and appreciating them. So how do you make this a habit? You have to seek out ways. Once again, I love the idea of the, of the journal in the evening so you have that specific time, but there's other ways to incorporate it. Things like, um, I recently cleaned out a closet. I hate cleaning out closets. <laughs> right? But I was sitting there and I was thinking, oh, I've got to lug all this stuff. And I was thinking, wow, what a blessing it is that I have so many extra things that I can share with somebody else because I don't need them anymore. I have, you know, it, this is a gift that I have too much to get rid of, right. you know, and trying to really work through and spend the time with like, nope, this isn't a horrible task. This is just an example of the things that are, that are, um, what's we're looking for? Big in my life. I'm not sure what the word is. Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So it kind of boils Abundant. down to mindset. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing this advice with us. Well, I'm grateful for the invitation. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>